Good morning, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to pull some cards and share some guidance for the next three days. That's for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, the 24th, 25th and 26th of October. So welcome to you. I trust this video finds you well and you're having a good day, no matter what time of the day it is. So uh, I want to send out a big extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light members, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. If you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is using my Oracle cards here that I created. We've got uh, Animal Kingdom Oracle, with my Speed of Light Oracle cards and I'll be using this deck of 110 cards to find the best cards that the majority of us need for uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm coming to you live now from Tasmania, Australia where it is Tuesday the 24th of October and the time is exactly 8.15am. So welcome, let's do some shout outs. To those of you who are here already, Cindy, good morning, and Maria, and Tony's here. Hi, Colleen, and Dawn. Welcome, everybody. So, our last three days, we had sort of a lost, uh, a looking for our purpose kind of energy, uh, and, but our theme was a bit uplifting and quite action orientated. Um, with the butterfly card. So that was bringing a dreamy, you know, new ideas. Let's come up with a solution, a, an answer to our problem, especially in regards to purpose or what we're going to do moving forward from here. And it's interesting, a lot of us are, there's sort of two camps, it seems. We're either diving straight into new things now or some of us are tying up things uh, for the remainder of the year and we're figuring out what we're going to do in 2024. So there seems to be this two camp kind of thing of uh, either diving in now or diving in in 2024 and we're preparing to see you know, what's coming up. Good morning, Janine. Okay, so I'm looking for the best card now for Tuesday the 24th of October. Please take on board what feels right and what resonates and what fits into your life easily from the guidance and let the rest go. So the best card for Tuesday the 24th is this Speed of Light Oracle card and it's this, the Temple of Maya, card 51. Huh. We're still running a bit with our theme, I see. It says manifestation, revelation, and du -dung, purpose. This card has structure. So it has structure, it has weight. Um, it can be uh, talking about a building of significance, some type of building, but not just an everyday home or everyday workplace that we go into. There could be a building of significance that is occurring around Tuesday for some of us. So it could be uh, um, uh, something new we're being called to. It could be some type of institution or some business or some building that we're going into to try and get information. Um, but it will be out of the norm, not our usual place of interacting in this building. So it could be a building of sorts for some of us, or it could be building structure and building things in our life and I think of structure in relation to our routine and our schedule and how to find that structure in our routine and schedule, but also structure in our life. And for some of us, our structure and routine may be altering at the moment or we may be trying to figure out a new routine for ourselves because things are changing either for ourselves or people around us that affects us. So there is a sort of restructuring sort of thing happening but there is something quite tangible and solid and real that's manifested about this card as well. So th things are happening on the ground. It's no longer kind of like something we're just talking about or something that we're dreaming about. There is stuff happening on the ground with this particular card. So there might be things happening specifically on Tuesday or around this time that is actually happening on the ground that is... Um, potentially connected with um, finding purpose and meaning in our life. 
So it could be going down a bit of a new path in regards to our work or our hobbies or our interests or even relationships and things like that as well. So things are changing, but it's not in the air. Things are changing on the ground right now. And um, it might be a bit difficult to begin with as we let go of our old structure and our old routine and we try and work our way through figuring out a new structure and a new routine, which is all quite fun, really, even though it's testing or confronting to do so. So that's for Tuesday. Welcome, Janine. Welcome, Renee. Good morning. So Wednesday, the 25th of October, and the best card for the majority of us is this Animal Kingdom Oracle card, which is the frog, our good friend, the frog. We have frogs everywhere here. And it's card 34. And it says to cleanse your environment. So Wednesday seems to be potentially a favourable day for purging, clearing. Could be spring cleaning. It could be cleaning up some area of our home or our life that has become a bit messy. Uh, it could be metaphorically messy or it could be physically messy. And we might want to get um, put some music on. Uh, what I like to do is put the music on, set my timer for an hour or whatever time I've got. And go for it and just do like a rapid uh, clean up. Oh, I find that works really well for me. Um, but we might find that things need clearing up. And it could be outwardly, but it could also be inwardly. So there might be some things that we're maybe worried about or concerned about. Things that are on our mind that may be taking us away from ourselves. Or taking us away from our life's path right now. Um, that we might need to really look at, is this serving me? Is this supporting me? And is this healthy for me to be thinking this way? And if it's not, then it might be worth uh, and, and uh, favourable on Wednesday for us to focus on cleansing and clearing, especially things in our mind that may be uh, creating a toxic environment for us right now. Can we just let it be? Can we... Uh, find an attitude of perhaps one step at a time or let's just get through our day and see what happens. Can we set ourselves some reassuring um, process to uh, cope with whatever it is that we're dealing with at this time rather than being too hard on ourselves or being too, uh, putting too much pressure on ourselves and adding to the stress that we don't need to be adding to. So are our thoughts healthy and supportive for us? And if not, it may be worth looking at really shifting and choosing some new thoughts, especially around Wednesday. And it might help and be favourable if we are feeling something like that to also do a clean up, like a real swift or real fast clean up and get the energy moving. Because as we, you know, like, as I say, for me, it works well for me, put music on for an hour or half an hour, if it depends how much time I have. When I'm waiting for something to happen, right, this is a perfect little pocket of time to do a swift clean-up. So on with my energetic music so I can have a little dance while I'm cleaning up and I just rush around, sorting things out, throwing things out, tidying things up. And I find this really great to get energy moving to that's been kind of stuck on a loop, uh, like a broken record uh, stuck on a loop in, in my head. So you might find that the physical cleaning works well with the mental clearing as well, especially Wednesday. So now we move to Thursday, the 26th of October. Good morning, Andrea from Indiana. So the best card for Thursday, the 26th of October for the majority of us is this Speed of Light Oracle card. And it's this. It's our owl, card 47, called Persistence. It says patience, solution, question, answer, and night. This card's very much reminding us on Thursday to be patient and to be persistent. That a solution is coming, an answer is coming. If we need to be proactive in seeking that, then let's be proactive in seeking that. Uh, make some phone calls, do some research, whatever we need to do to get things happening, to find the solution, to get the clarity. But because patience and persistence is in this card, it also implies that perhaps we're waiting on other people or maybe we're waiting for the universe to line things up and maybe it's not quite the right time yet. 
So we might find our patients tested, especially on Thursday, when we're getting a bit impatient for information or impatient for news. So if we can just remind ourselves to be patient and be persistent, which also means let's not give up on Thursday. Let's keep hopeful. Let's keep being patient. Let's keep being persistent. Let's keep the dream or the positivity alive, if, especially if we're waiting for things like news or information that might be a bit anxious, um, stirring a bit of anxiety within us. It might be helpful just to keep reassuring ourselves, be patient, be persistent, persistent. And I like reminding myself that no news is good news. So if you're waiting on news and you or results or something and you haven't got them yet, keep reminding yourself no news is good news. And you might find that helpful just to take the edge off that worry. So that's our card for Thursday. So I'm going to pull a card for the theme for the three days in just a moment. Before I do, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Please hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video. Please show us some love. Please comment, please share if you're inspired to. And if you'd prefer to connect more privately, then please send us a message through our website. Um, if you'd like to grab yourself a deck of cards, the Speed of Light Oracle or the Animal Kingdom, my favourite Oracle cards to use, um, then please have a look on my website. If you'd like to learn more about me or support my work here at Temple of Balance, please visit templeofbalance.com.au. And if you would like to see Temple of Balance stay, then I certainly do need your support because things are branching out and potentially away from Temple of Balance, which I would not like to see happen if Temple of Balance is still needed. So if you still need what Temple of Balance offers you and supports you with, if you find these videos crucial to helping you in your life or at least somewhat helpful, please consider supporting my work. Please consider becoming a Pillar of Light member or grabbing yourself a pendant or some cards or something on my website because seriously, Corey and I are branching away from Temple of Balance because of financial reasons. So as Facebook suppresses Temple of Balance, uh, people don't come over to the website, then people don't purchase on the, web, on the website, and then we need to go and look for alternatives. So if you would really like Temple of Balance to stay over the next 6 to 12 months, then please have a look on my website and consider supporting my work. So let's grab a theme card now. The theme I'm looking for the best theme for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. That's the 24th, 25th, 26th of October. So let's see. What does the theme card want to offer? The best theme card for the majority of us for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is this. Another Speed of Light Oracle card. And it's this it's purification okay so this is highlighting the energy of the frog card eight purification is our theme and it says cleanse detoxification and toxins so we're highlighting this purging clearing uh, sorting things out sort of energy now we can explore this further not just in our physical surroundings and not just mentally that i've touched on already we could also be looking at uh, purging or shifting or releasing things that are holding us back in our schedule or our routine or how we spend our time. I think in general, I've noticed, I think a lot of us waste a lot of time in our days. So there might be some tightening up that's required in our schedule or our, our routine in regards to how we spend our time. We might need to clear up some things that go beyond our immediate surroundings or, or environment. So beyond the physical, beyond the mental. There might be some issues that are coming up that we might need to or find helpful to purge or clear or release. There might be some things that extend past our immediate environment as well to uh, clear up. There might be some air that we need to clear actually as well that's coming to mind maybe there's some tension that we've been feeling with another person or other people for a little while or just lately that we might need to really look at taking steps to clear the air so there's this general sense of clearing that wants to clear things out um, you know like put put our clothes through the wash cycle in the washing machine like what about our life needs sort of 
clearing now or washing or or um, releasing or purging uh, to some degree so purification cleansing clearing releasing purging that sort of thing um, on all levels so if you find yourself stuck over these next couple of days maybe keep uh, go back and think about our theme about purging are you feeling stuck is there something you're holding on to that's got no room to heal right now that's not um, working for you but you've been kind of just hovering in it without doing anything about fixing or improving things so maybe there's stuff there that needs sorting or stuff there that needs looking at so if you're feeling stuck or if you feel stuck over the next few days that's a sure sign that something needs clearing and moving so clearing purging releasing gets the energy moving as well so whether it is clearing the air and speaking up that gets energy moving whether it is tidying spring cleaning that gets the energy moving whether it is sorting out and tightening up our schedule that gets energy moving and it frees things up when we clear things it not only gets things moving if things are stuck and stagnant it also gets things cleared up it gets things um, it gets things uh, move it uh, moves things out of the way so that we have room then for new things to come in so if our schedule is jam-packed with lots of things to do but also some time wasting mixed in there if we can tighten that up and clear out the time wasting and the procrastination and things that we're overly worried about that we can't do anything about right now that might free up a fifth or something of our day and then we have a fifth of our day available now for something new for maybe something new to a project to work on or something new to learn or even just some time to relax catch our breath if it's been really busy so I feel that if we get stuck let's come back to that clearing and purging and see where or what that is wanting us to shift so that we can um, clear things clear the path a little bit for ourselves so thank you so much for connecting today um, have a great couple of days I will be back on Friday with some more guidance and um, thank you so much sending you lots of love from my heart to yours have a great day